Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to create a look using the new Morphe palette. And the first thing I'm doing is applying a shadow shield. And then I'm going in with this light brown shade. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So that means that I'm going to blend it all over in my crease. And it's going to be the first shade that you will see at the upper part of my crease. And this will also make it more easy to blend on any other eyeshadows. This is just the first shade that will make everything happen, if that makes sense. Now the next shade is Orb, if I'm seeing that correctly, I'm not sure. This is a bit of a warmer shade than the one I used before. And now you can see, because I'm applying this on top of the shade I used before, that it's really easy to blend this in because I have already created a base. And this will prevent any harsh lines, so that's really something you need to do before you do any look. Now I'm going in with a blaze. And I'm going to blend this in my crease as well. This is a super orange shade. And um, just to come back about the transition story, um, I never really go in straight with a dark shade. I always start with lighter shades and then I'm going to build it up and I feel like this is the key to have like a nice blended out crease. So now I'm going in with the shade Fire and as you can see I'm building it up with more darker and darker shades. And I know this might take a bit of time, so if you're very impatient, this might be a bit hard. But I will really recommend to take your time, start with some light shades and build it up darker and darker and this will give you that transition. So now I'm going in with the MAC Pro Long Eye Concealer in the shade NC15 and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid using my MAC 242 brush. Normally I use this brush to apply eyeshadows on the eyelid, which is that's basically my favorite brush to use it for. But recently I'm also using it to apply concealer on the eyelid because it's really flat and you can just work really precise with it. But I have two of these brushes, so if you have only one of these two for two brush by MAC, then after doing this, you obviously have to clean your brush. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I really like it. So now I switched my brush into a more tiny brush and now it's time for applying some eyeshadow on your lid. I used a white shade and this is not included in the palette, but I felt like it was necessary to first go in with a white shade and the palette doesn't really have like a super light shade, unfortunately. So now I'm going in with this shade, which I used at the beginning as well to apply in my crease. And I'm going to softly press a bit of this on the eyelid. And um, I'm trying to not apply it all the way to the upper part of my eyelid where the crease starts. Because I want to create a sort of negative space effect. So I want a line in my crease. So that's why I'm not going all the way up in my crease. I just wanted to let you know for if you're wondering like why is she doing that. So now I'm going in with a blaze eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this at the outer V of my eyelid and slowly pressing this also more towards the middle part of my eyelid. Trying to blend the light brown shade with this orangey shade into each other to create a sort of ombre effect. And I'm using that MAC 242 brush again, but this is the clean one, my backup brush. I really like this one. So now I'm going in with the MAC Fascinating Eye Pencil, one of my favorite white eye pencils because it's not super creamy. So you can use it for it in the waterline, it stays perfectly in place. And also for in the crease, it will not like... Um, it will just stay in place. <laughs> so I'm going straight on top of that line just to make it more white. And that's also why I went in with white on the eyelid at the beginning, so it kind of melts into the eyeliner. So now I'm using this eyeliner from NYX and I'm going to create a line with this above my lash line. And I'm sure you all have seen the MAC, maybe NYX Vivid Brides eyeliner, the liquid ones, but they tend to crack. And now they also came out with these gel eyeliners and I feel like they are so much nicer. So I'm going in with fire eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it straight on top of the eyeliner to give it more of a reddish undertone because the gel eyeliner itself was more on the peachy side 
and I wanted it to match a bit more with your eye look. And then I'm going in with Brave, which is quite a dark shade. And I'm going to apply this in the middle part and then blend it more towards the left part. And I want to create a ombre effect on my eyeliner as well, just to give this cut crease something extra. And then to make it even more dark, I'm going in with this black eyeshadow and I'm starting at the outer end and I'm going to blend it more towards the middle part to blend it together. And for this, I'm using a super tiny Suifa brush. So now it's time to remove that shadow shield and I'm going to use the NYC liquid eyeliner and I'm going to use this to create the cat wing of my eyeliner. So put your trust in me. We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride The two of us, we don't have to stop Now that I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm going in with the John to Blue black eye pencil and I'm going to apply this in my waterline. I did a live session yesterday and someone asked me do you like the Marc Jacobs or the John to Blue pencil more and I feel like the texture is kind of the same so just if you're wondering um, yeah I feel like they are pretty much the same so now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow again and I'm going to apply this underneath my lower lash line to create a super smoky lower lash line for this again I'm using that super tiny Suifa brush and I think this is one of the tiniest brushes they have and I'm just going to apply it underneath it and also a bit on top of the waterline as well. Then to blend it out, I'm going in with this orangey shade and I'm going to apply this underneath the lower lash line. Um, so first kind of press it to get the most color payoff. And then I'm going back and forth and just blending it out so it melts together with the black eyeshadow. Now for my lashes, I use my Anytude Dainty Lashes. I haven't used them for quite a while, but I feel like they look really nice with this eye look. But yeah, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoy watching. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That would be really sweet. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!